Mm. All right, what's up, everybody? Hey, this is the highlights mm. video for Songbringer. Um, and apologies, mm. I haven't done a highlights video in mm. like 20 or 30 days because honestly, I completely forgot about them. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I've been so focused on this alpha version coming out this mm. Wednesday and refining it, refining it, fixing all the bugs and all that stuff that I completely forgot to do these uh, these highlight videos. So anyways, I'm going to try and get back on, back on track. Today's a Monday. I'm going to try and get some of this uh, highlights done. So here we go. 20 days worth of highlights. It's a lot to cover because a lot of shit has been improved in the game. For example, you're seeing the dialogue happen. That's a big part of the game now. Um, you can trample this grass. It's really fun. Sometimes you get an item. Looks like you got a lot of items right there. I was lucky. Um, so, and also there's pixel perfect shadows. If you can take a look at the player's shadow, it's now a pixel perfect thing. So, um, it used to be much higher res and it looked more, it didn't look that good. It didn't look very pixely. So, there's that. There's also ambience. As I transition from one area to another, you can. You can hear it transition its sound, its ambience, its music. As they get into different kinds of areas, the music gets much, much different. And for each one of these areas, um, there is... Um, what was I just going to say? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. There's that, that, that. Uh, what else? Let's look at the Dungeon 2's artwork. Uh, look up where the heck that's gonna be. Forget where this is in this world. Well, that's another thing that got improved with the game is this um is doing the worlds. Can I move this? Anyways, you can see part of this, I think. This is World Xanadu, the one I'm playing right now. And what's really improved here with the overworld is the ability for, to um, use a walking distance instead of as the crow flies distance for placing levels. So, for example, in the old version of these algorithms or whatever that would create overworlds, this right here is the pink is the start area for this World Xanadu. Um, and uh, this usually would have been a level, right? This is really close to the, the home screen. So as the crow flies, this distance right here, or you could also call it Manhattan distance, this algorithm is, would be one, two, three, four, five, six, only six squares away to this possible entrance here. However, if you actually count the distance you would walk as a player to get to there, which is could be much more depending on how big, how complicated the maze is to get there, then you can accurately place the level. So basically now there's red, these dark red areas are, are harder to get to and these white areas are easier to get to. So you can accurately place the levels. Here's like level five is right there. Level two is here. Level one is really easy to get to. It's right there. So that's, what that, that's how that is. Um, let's put the player right here at level two. I want to show off some of two, Dungeon 2's artwork that's been updated as well. So that's going to be eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, eleven, three. I'm gonna place the player there. Oh, just remember that. Let me let me give the player a back is uh, every this save game I had going. So let's put the player eleven three. And here's something else I'm working on. This is Dungeon 2's artwork. So I really need to improve a lot of it. These statues, for example, need to be, be more varied and stuff, but uh, this is kind of what this looks like to go into level two. And um, also this art, I might change all of this, I'm not sure. This might be like level eight or nine or whatever what this one looks like here. And then uh, dungeon two will look a little bit different, more golden, I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, a couple. Of, there's lots of bugs left. There's so many bugs left in the game. Uh, lots of things to refine and get better, but uh, let's see what else. Teleport field? Let me show you that. Let's put the player um, back at the end of dungeon one, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, one. 
So we can show you this teleport field. This is another new thing in the game. Oh, that wasn't it. What was this? It's Calvin's again. Oh, this is dungeon one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, four, one. Come on, no whammies. So this is kind of what the, the dungeon's teleport field looks like after you beat the boss of the, of the level. The dungeon, you usually get an item. And then you've got the teleport field, which warps you back to the beginning of the dungeon so you can easily exit or whatever. Whatever you'd like to do. You can also skip getting the item if you're maybe a speed player that's going for the most hardcore version of the game ever. You can skip getting items and just use the teleport field to get back. So, um, I do believe that's about it. Um, is there anything else I wanted to show? I mean, other than that, it's just working hard for the alpha version. So, um, yeah, that's the goal is just to get the alpha version out by Wednesday. That's coming out to backers um, of the Kickstarter and also anyone who's pre-ordered the game. Um, uh, so yeah, that's songbringer.com slash pre-order. There's, there's three tiers of pre-orders. There's the lowest tier, it gets you the game when it comes out. The middle tier gets you the beta. The third tier gets you the alpha. And also gets your name on the main menu in gold. So yeah, that's it for days um, 208 through 229 or something. So cheers, everybody. We'll catch you next time.